Today in Houston, the first steps in the hearing involving the NFL's possible discipline of embattled quarterback Deshaun Watson. News of Jack Sports anchor Cole Peppers joining us. And Cole, what were today's proceedings supposed to decide? Well, it, whether or not he can be punished by the league. That's really the upshot here. These proceedings are to decide whether the NFL has the right to discipline Watson, and if so, how the league can discipline him. As it stands right now, 20 of the 24 civil lawsuits for sexual misconduct brought against the former Texans quarterback have been settled. He could still face a significant penalty in any of the other four, of course. The league has had conversations with 11 women who accused Watson of misconduct during massage sessions. Former U.S. District Judge Sue Robinson, who was jointly appointed by the league and the NFL Players Association, is holding the hearings. She could determine that the NFL can discipline Watson and that the league could fine or suspend him based on the evidence that the league's investigators found before the cases were settled out of court. Watson, now with the Browns, has a $230 million contract, but only a little more than a million in his salary is for this year. That's money he would not get if suspended. He could also find that Watson, or she could rather, could find that Watson could be suspended, but that last year's season, when Watson did not play, would have to count as a suspension. With the Houston Texans, Watson was not active for any of the 17 games last year. The final possibility is that the judge could rule the NFL cannot discipline Watson, although that seems to be the least likely scenario, unless you consider the potential of a settlement between Watson and the league before a ruling. It should be pointed out that the NFL has punished players for violating the league's personal conduct policy in the past, including stars Ben Roethlisberger and Ezekiel Elliott. A final decision could come later this week.